Hello Captains, this is Metaman, back with you with another CV battle. This is an all tier 8 battle. Um, once again in the Indomitable, I like her a lot, some don't. I think she's good at con controlled chaos, I call it, because she's just so fast that her planes can get in and out, very durable, get across the map fast. She has the fastest planes in the game. Her rocket planes cruise at 200, or speed boost at 234 speed. The Graf Zeppelin, I believe, is second at 226. That's with her torpedo bombers. Indomitable doesn't have torpedo bombers, but her top speed on her rocket planes are 234. Uh, Graf Zeppelin's uh, rocket planes are actually slow. Right here, I slingshot up to the Lenin. Um, I did cost myself some planes right here. I was just trying to get a view of how they're distributing um, to decide where I wanted to attack. I seen a DD come off to the left. A little bit heading over towards these islands. The one weak spot on the Indomitable is its agility on its planes, and actually two 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 negatives: the agility on the planes and the penetration on the planes. But against DDs, if I can see them, if they if they show me their AA, I'll hit them. Without the them uh, letting me spot them. It's hard to hit them because I have a lack of agility. Big advantage with Indomitable, besides speed and durability of her planes, um, she's able to not just slingshot on her rock or on her level bombers, but on both her rocket planes and her level bombers. As soon as you fire off your salvo, right here, you'll see two seconds after I shoot. Watch how fast I'm able to reload and be ready to shoot again. A little over a second and a half. So if I have two ships in succession, I can string shots together. Other ships, you'll have to wait five, six, seven, eight seconds to be able to shoot that second salvo. Indomitable, you do not have that. I believe the Indomitable is the last sh ship in the game to be able to use its planes in a a slingshot maneuver. The level bombers here, I'm not sure if on this, oh, not on this one, because I'm probably going to go after that low yang. This low yang, uh, he's a little bit off by himself. He should have gotten the smoke. Most people don't chase the, the DDs with the level bombers. I'm not too afraid of it. Uh, here I get kind of lucky that y low yang did a great job of trying to slow down, but it still didn't work out. The Indomitable, uh, the weak point, the agility of the planes, the penetration of the planes. Um, but pay attention to my uh, damage I have right now. I have 24,000 damage. Watch what happens when I hit level bombers on this Akazuki. You go from 24,000 up to 31,000. So if you can time out these level bombers you will take chunks out of these dds if they let me see them i'm gonna hit them once again we're at 31,600. time it out 37,900. um indomitable gets a bad rap because of a lot of people just farming damage trying to get high numbers um, if you look at my stats, I'm around 60% in her, same way as I am around my other ugly duckling that I like, which is the Graf Zeppelin. Um, my average damage is slightly above average, not a lot, not at all. But my average kills per game is higher than the server average, definitely. And that's because I don't try to just farm battleships. I try to go after the kills. I try to go after the cruisers and the DDs because 
they don't repair that health on average. Most ships, battleships, they're going to repair that health. I hit a cruiser or I hit a DD, they're not repairing that health. All damage isn't created equal. 10,000 on a Yamato is not the same as getting 10,000 on a gearing. That gearing's not going to repair. That gearing, that's probably, what, it's 20-40% of its health. That Yamato, that's, what, maybe 10% of his health, and he's going to heal 90% of that back. So not all damage is created equal. You very easily could be just a damage farmer and then dominable. But that's not what I play her as. And I don't play any of my CVs to just farm damage. I really don't like hitting linens. I know that uh, a lot of people talk about, like Notzer, Notzer brought out that he got beat up really bad, and he showed a really big video with him getting beat up in the linen in a CV. Right here, I did a bad drop. I tried to slingshot, I missed. So I'm just going to rinse and repeat, start over. But he showed a good video with the linen um, getting beat up pretty bad by CVs. Well, he was kind of off on his own. Um, linen and then Dominable specifically. I really don't want to see Lennon's because his armor or her armor is so thick, it's hard for me to get damage. I definitely have to just get fire damage on her. And she doesn't have a lot of superstructure to hit. I'd much rather see a Massachusetts, Alabama, and I do love both of those ships, but they're soft enough that I get my damage on those ships. And even though they have a lot better AA, considered top-notch AA, my planes are so durable that I can get past their AA. Now, if I chase them, they might get a plane. But if they're heading towards me or sitting still, they're probably not even getting a plane from me unless they have help. Lennon might not be taking my planes, but I'm not getting my damage that I need. I'm not helping my team if I'm not creating that damage or getting kills. I see this Bismarck over here. Um, yes, I am going to go farm some off of him. That's his fault for going off on the side. He's a soft target. I'm trying to get rid of ships. I'm going to help my team over here just try to multiply the damage that's getting done to him. Maybe if I create some fires, somebody else will come over here and help create fires too. You see him trying to do the little map hug. I've got it timed out pretty good with uh, these level bombers when people try to do the map hub hug move so I create a fire heading back I try to get pretty close to the actual battle of who I'm trying to hit because indomitable you are playing to get fires and you're trying to beat up their damage control party and then Try to get a second fire, get a third fire, because then it's uncontrollable. He actually got pretty lucky here. Um, I almost probably average a fire every time I get pretty lined up in the middle because I hit so many on the target. So if I would have created a fire there, it would have been uncontrollable. And a lot of times I come back, I get the two fires on that one. And they put that one fire out, and then when I create two, they're just stuck for a while. Here I shot a little bit too late. I should have shot earlier. I did get two fires. I might have got three if I would have done a little better drop on that one. They're over there helping get the kill right now, but he's already dead. If I dropped one more time, he's probably dead. Okay, time to turn around. Now we're actually down ships. Time to start running. Things uh, start opening up. Where I can get it. I'm trying to get behind this rock so I can get really close to these Massachusetts. Like I said, um, I like the Massachusetts and the Alabama. 
I have video up about the Alabama, but I do not fear Massachusetts or Alabama if they're coming towards me. Watch my health on my planes. Neither one, neither one turned, oh, one turned yellow. He's not getting a plane if he's coming towards me and I'm coming towards him. Lennon, I wouldn't have done much damage, but he would I wouldn't have got any plane he wouldn't have got any planes but he he wouldn't have took the damage and no I didn't do a ton of damage that time but these Massachusetts they're like campfires watch he's he's starting to run away turn a little to the side I turned yellow on one of them didn't even turn red on one and even, even if I did I'm getting my salvo off before he can even kill a kill one of my planes I'm just still running I would have liked to stay closer but I I haven't seen that DD for a while trying to set up another slingshot move get close let's see what he does I slinged it shot shot a little bit too far away he does get yellow he gets a red still didn't kill kill one maybe after I dropped he got one another two fires I'm not even getting lined up right on him if I get lined up right on him I could maybe even get three but like right there he's he put out the first pot fires now I have two uncontrollables um, my games I don't show really big damage um, I could just try to farm to, to post a video that just shows good damage, but I like to show good gameplay, and I feel that me helping out with the DDs, helping out with the cruisers, later in the game I can start putting a punishment on these battleships. I feel that's good gameplay. Not downing anybody that does just go for big damage numbers. It's just not the way that I play. Another Massachusetts coming my way. Close match. Um, we have the lead. We got tied up on ships. This Massachusetts is about to die. I tried to slingshot into him. It was going to be a miss. Now, if I would have went into the mass there, I would have been in his AA bubble long enough that he might have got a plane. No reason to give him one. I'm spotted. Figured that DD had to be somewhere. He hadn't been seen for a long time. The weakness of the Indomitable is the agility on the planes, the penetration. And so when I see a DD, it's hard for me to turn around as fast as, say, in the side pan, in the... Graf Zeppelin or the Kaga, those guys, um, they, they turn around okay on their airplanes. The Indomitable doesn't. She she strings shots together really well. She can do the, because of the uh, quick reload on the salvo. Look at, does she get a plane from me? She she got one plane from me. Um, I can't turn around uh, my planes if their AA is turned off. I can't see them in, in time to be able to hit them. I have to turn around and come back and hopefully guesstimate where they're at. But if they are firing or if they are spotted, I can hit them. Maybe not quite as good as other CVs, but I can hit them. And if they let me see them and I have level bombers coming at them, that's a bad day for him. Here I'm just trying to go spot, drop me a fighter. Like I said, if I can see him, I can hit him. I just got to see him before I'm getting too close. Um, I don't do as much damage as I do in the other CVs against DDs. On average per salvo. But given time, I'll kill him. It they can't out chase me with their with their uh, torps 
as long as I know what direction they are and I'm running the other direction. They can sneak up on you just like they do everybody else, but I can whittle him down. If he wants to keep firing at me, he's not going to kill me, but I will kill him. But play in the Indomitable can get pretty monotonous. You are doing the same two airplanes over and over. But I do like how high speed it is. Um, in other CVs you have different types of planes, but sometimes they're slow. Um, I like the fast pace. That's why I also like French destroyers. Um, other than agility and uh, agility is the main thing, and the penetration. I would say you definitely miss out on the, the alpha damage of torpedoes. You definitely do. But if a game drags on a little bit, their, their heels start going away. It really hurts the battleships. Um, if you let me get my CV close enough and nobody's spotting me and I can get those consecutive salvos off on you and get another plane in the air and come back after you. And I, you've seen multiple times that I had multiple fires on one single run. Um, I really like the Indomitable. I, I'm going to be using her some this CV ranked I will be using multiple CVs and I will be uh, making videos for each of them um, Indomitable is definitely underrated in my eyes um, hopefully you liked the video if you did please subscribe press press like this is Metaman signing off you guys have a great day and thank you for watching